bustling nightlife of Santa Ana, and you'll like this, the endless shopping attractions of Madrid's Gran Via, the four-star Hotel Marino, bloody bloody blah and gun. What do you get for four stars? Mm, so it wasn't just the ale talking. Gymnasium and a cocktail bar. Well, let's face it, it's either one or the other. Hey, What do you mean? Well, I just thought once the hangover set in, the enthusiasm would wear off. Me? Maria, I am a man of my word. Yeah? What do you reckon? And it's not too far from um, the Bernabeu Stadium, so when you're all shopped out... Is that cocktail bar, gymnasium and kennels? <laughs> Aussie! Hey, well, it's only a few days. Can't Kirk take him? And serve him up to Schmeichel for breakfast. Yeah, I'll type this in. L, A, K, E, D, I, S. Lake this, lake, lake this, lake this. Lake, lake. District. Lake District? Why, why don't you just say Markham and have done with it? Oh, do you not like the Lake District? We used to go there every year when we were kids. Yeah, but it's not very impressive. Well, I wasn't planning on a youth hostel. Yeah, but the, the bragging factor is pretty low. <laughs> why are you going to be bragging to? Besides, they do booty grammar, you know, in the lakes. Cocktail bars? Country pubs, roaring log fires, four poster beds. Yeah, but the the weather. Well, if it rains, we'll just have to stop in and um. And. And use our imagination. Oh. <laughs> be careful! Don't hurt yourself again. Whatever happened to wherever I lay my hat? That's my own. That's a whole lot of Stetsons. <sighs> Yeah, well, this is not mine, it's your mother's. Right, well, what do you expect if you won't tell me where we're going on? Mm -hmm. Well, I expect you to enjoy the air of mystery and romance. Right, till when? Till we actually get to the airport checking and I have to ditch all my jumpers, fingers crossed. Or I have to give all my bikinis to charity. Oh, well, there's gratitude for you. Vernon, I am grateful. Right down to my little cotton socks. But you've just got to give me a clue. All right, it's, it's a little bit country and a little bit of rock and roll. Yeah, but what's the climate like? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, all right, right all right. Oh, all right. We are going to Nashville. Happy now? Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee, home of the Grand Old Opry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about taking Marie away for a couple of days, but now I'm thinking. Well, that'll be a first. <laughs> Would you rather have stuck around? You know, DNA test. No, go. Are you just saying that? No, I'll be fine. If I was getting the results, then I might say different, but this is only the test. See, this one's more traditional. Yeah, it's very classy, though, my love. Yeah. But then, this one's got more of a trendy boutique feel to it. <laughs> uh, have you got something to contribute, Bill? Well, I've worked in a few of them places. Bloomy lighted, ironic ornaments, fur coat, no drugs. Yes, thank you, Egan Rona. Actually, I do like the look of this traditional one, my darling. Yeah, me and all. I rest my case. <laughs> shh, <gasps> shh, please, don't shout. I've had enough, I grow. Yeah, caused by you. I'm calling the police. No, no, please don't do that. Look, I just want to speak to Steve. Please. What site? At the Grand Ole Opry? Hey, why not opera? I've always wondered. I don't know. Well, Michelle will know. She's the singer. Why do they call it the Grand Old Opry? I've never heard of it, sorry. <laughs> just don't let her on the karaoke. Steve. <laughs> it's all right. It's frightened old Samuel. Yeah, and leave me broken bitter in the bridal suite. Well, Look no need to me. ask if you've had a happy new year. Oh, RJ, pinch me. He's too good to be true. <laughs> so. so there you are now. Hi. <sighs> Stephen, look, what can I say? I'm sorry. We don't look it. I've just told him what happened. Look, I feel bad about lashing out. Honest to God, I do. But, like I said, it proves a point, doesn't it? What proves a point? 
Well, sometimes you've got to learn when to stick, and other times you've got to learn when to fold. And I mean, your mother folded. You just called the wedding off. I. Wait a minute, have you told him that... Well, it was hardly a secret. They sent a lot of us packing from the registry. She called the wedding back on, you idiot. What? What you when? are? Yeah, ju just after you done your flipping Rambo impression. <laughs> Lloyd, give us a minute, will you? You didn't think to ring me before I hit the motorway? Lloyd? Or leave a message for when I got back? Lloyd? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just the house boy. Oh, my God. I mean, I thought for a lot Dad! You thought that your charm offensive would work. Well, it didn't. It blew up in your face. I'm sorry if you've come here for sympathy. I haven't come here for sympathy. I've come here because I care. I care about your mother and I care about this family. That's why. I'm sorry, Dad. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're not a part of this family anymore. Oh, well, thanks very much indeed. Why don't you give me a dig in the back when I'm on the floor? You and Weatherfield, finished. You and me mum, finished. Well, what about you and me? Finished. Oh, come on, son. After all the trust I've put in your things, I've done for you. No, I'm sorry. The party's over. <laughs> Stephen, let me say goodbye to my granddaughter. I'm not above begging. <laughs> Where are you going to, missus? Oh, sorry, Auntie Carla. She stole the new Christmas bright, Ryan. Your dad wants to see you. He's waiting for you. Sorry, Auntie Carla. Hey, take care of her, will you? I will. That kid ought to be on a leash. <laughs> Go on. Your Cruella act don't wash with me, Carla. I've seen you looking round Ryan when you reckon no one's watching. <laughs> hey, shut up, you. You'll ruin my reputation. <laughs> Is that all for the pooch? Yeah, I travel lighter myself. Well, he likes his creature comforts. So, what are you going to drop off at the kennels on the way to the airport? We're not going to the airport. Oh, no, we're going for some top notch pampering. I thought I'd had all my Christmas presents, but you know what Liam's like for splashing out? To book this amazing place in the Lake District. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Lake Garda. The Lake District? Yeah. Going to have spas in the morning, pub lunches, country walks. Tight what? You know, I thought I'd change him into something better. When? Well, last night. Well, you know, I wouldn't risk it, but whatever floats your boat. Risk what? Being seen in public and a cagoule, especially before you got a ring on your finger. Yeah, well, that's me and Liam, isn't it? Secret of our success is no secrets. Whatever you say. Well, ask the Lemister then. <laughs> Sucker. Right. Come here. Hello. Oh. Now then. I've got to say bye bye. Uh, that's what her mum said, Randall. I'm sorry. I've got to go. But I'll never forget you, even though you might forget me. I'll always love you. And I want you to promise to be a very good wee girl for your daddy. Kiss Grandad, goodbye. Oh, thank you. Well, I know you blame me some. Maybe you got the right. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes in my head I'm still Colour Sergeant Jim McDonald, full honours, all that. And then. Suddenly, it's not as hard as you think to just slip over the edge, you know? Bye, Dad. Bye, son. Go on, in. Here you go. Are you sure you're going to be all right back there? He won't be car sick and out, will it? Why, what are you going to do? Charge him 20 quid to clean it up. Are you OK? Yeah, fine. Shall we get going? It's just you seem a little flat. Flat? Wish I was. Received and understood. Uh, we got sick of waiting. 
Taxi to the airport? Yes, that'll be yours. Ah, the happy couple. It's all right, mate, I get it. Sorry, mate. Job blew through to me. Oh, somebody got out of bed the wrong side this morning. Too much shampoo at the do last night. I don't know what's worse. The fact that I missed your wedding, or the fact that you didn't even notice. Hey, I can't remember a thing. It's just all a blur. Oh, same here. <laughs> <laughs> right, then, are we all done? Yeah, come on, time's marching on. I don't have that. Not, uh, not rare groove enough for you, or did you just see pound signs in front of your eyes? I just got told it was off. Asked to leave. No explanation given. Seemed like someone got cold feet to me. <laughs> you called it off? Well, yeah, but I called it back on again. I sent Steve. I would just so. Do you know, I, I just had a wobble. I were all over the place, weren't I, Deirdre? Yeah, she was. She, she was all over the place. I, I didn't know what to tell people. But I did call it back on again, then. <sighs> oh, thanks, Lloyd. How was I supposed to know? Something and nothing. Not today of all day. It is not something or nothing. I panicked. All right, I am a vain old slapper. You were covered in blood. I, I looked as if I'd been dragged through a hedge. Don't! Who wants bad memories on the way? Don't! Speak to me like I am an idiot. You let me and my mates get all booted and suited. You let us do the sound check. You let us get ready for a marriage that was never going to take place. I was confused. Yes, and that is what you were telling Jim way before he No, no, no! I waded in to defend my missus's reputation when she didn't even want to be my missus. Hey. Yeah. I won't take it. You have done some stupid things in your life, but marrying a man because you feel sorry for him. It wasn't like that. With all your mates in on the joke. They weren't laughing. Just go. Believe me, please. Go! Get out of my face. Not even ask him. Hey? How you are? Oh, look at this lot, Kirk. Classic. And let me see. Yeah, he's rereading all our old texts. Come on, you. Brush your teeth and grab your coat. You're coming with us. You sound just like me, Mum. As if. Your mum's more butch. <laughs> hey? Oh, he said his vows. He was so full of love, he scared me. I thought, how can I keep up? What happens when he realises that I'm not this wonderful person? What happens when the disappointment sets in? I think you've got your answer. I just want to put my arms round him and make it right. But it's over. Wait here. You're wasting your time. Probably, but she's me mum. I've got to try. She's crying her eyes out in there. Yeah, well, she's missed out on a good holiday. Vernon, my mum is a lot of things, but she is not a coward. And she's not a creep. She won't go through with a wedding she didn't believe in just in case she was afraid that you might get upset. Okay. 
Cards on the table. She fancies me. I make her laugh. But when it comes down to the real thing, she thinks I'm a joke. You both do. Eh? You both do. All right, cards on the table. Yeah, I used to. But you blame me. My mum's a great-looking woman for her age. She's not possessive. She's not mean. She runs her own pub. Sog's heaven, isn't it? I mean, what kind of chance I wouldn't want a slice of that, eh? The pub is incidental. The looks, well, if I'm honest, it's a nice bonus. But I loved her. Past tense. See, I told you. Yesterday, you decide we weren't right, yeah? I wasn't man enough. And then I have her up with Jim, and, and you decide you want me again. But not out of guilt. Whatever. And not out of pity, I... OK, whatever it, whatever it is, there's no future in it, well, not from where I'm sat. But there will be if you let it. I am not going to spend the rest of our married life picking fights with blokes just to remind you you still want me. No, it's not about the fight. Well, what is it about, then? Listen to her! Jim really laid into you. And he laid into Bob, your best man. But when you had the chance to get your own back, you never took it. You didn't even want to. Well, I was tempted. You didn't pick up the phone and dial 999 because of me. I don't know anybody else who'd have done that. And I love and respect you for it. There you go, boys. Cheers. Cheers, KK. You're even in word, there's no escaping it. Turn on the radio, I hear our song. What was your song? Well, we had a few. It was the one from the first night we copped off and... Oh, when Todd walked in on you? Yeah, and then there was one from the first wedding. But the one you did a bunk from? Yeah, and then there was a second wedding. Yeah, must be tough. Right then, where's that uh, useless taxi driver? We've got a plane to catch. You going? Yeah, we're going. I've got a lot of making up to do. Oh, hallelujah. Second room. Right. Come on. Come on, then. Come on, baby. Okay. Yeah, and there's one that Bethany used to sing to us every morning. Give me some skin, son. We wouldn't be here without you. <laughs> Look, let's get you out of here and over there, eh? Cowboy. Oh, sorry. Hey, don't go getting his and hers tattoos. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Oh. Anyway, have fun. See you later. Bye. Bye, love. Bye-bye. Beep, beep, beep. Come on, glad to see the back of them. Yeah, all you've got to deal with now is my problems, eh? I think Tammy had a song for it. Mum and Dad used to sing it to us when we were little. What? D-I-V-O-R-C-E? For the nights filled with dread and the words up ahead. <laughs> no, no charge. charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can all that. It'll just be work. Everyone knows we're shut. Hello. Hello. It's the Windermere Ritz Hotel here. I'm just bringing you a batch of two bus caravan booking on the ground. Get stuffed. <laughs> How far from civilization are you, eh? You getting those leaves, yeah? Far enough. We're having a whale of a time. Thank you very much. Oh, that's good. Well, listen, I'm just thinking, cos Tony's just called and Isn't he... Isn't he snowed in in Dusseldorf? Well, that's it, but he's just rang because he's just remembered about this lovely little chippy in Bowness. It's all you can eat for a pound. They even give you some crispy bits on the side for good measure. <laughs> Isn't he a deep-fried Mars bar, man? You can sit on the wall outside, just get a couple of cans of cider. Who needs <laughs> What'd you do that for? He's a woman. Ah, <laughs> oh, the wimp. <laughs> yeah, say that to his face. Sorry, you're breaking up. Can't hear you. <laughs> you're cracking up. You could have been marching around proud by now, or Palmer. Palmer's gorgeous. William Austin awesome needs to stop. Yeah, well, I'm looking after my carbon footprint, unlike some. Liam. Need to walk. Sorry, gotta go. Dog needs his caviar. See ya.
Oh, the gum walkers. <laughs> I've had a gob on you since we left. Well, maybe I just want a bit of privacy. What would you call this? All right, tell me. Why did Carla know that we were going away before I did? She didn't. How come she's had to shame you into taking me? She didn't. I wanted to treat you. Yeah, but her idea of a treat isn't the same as mine. I know. That's why we're stuck on a dirt track off the A66. What, when you'd rather be in Madrid or Prague or Parma? Maria, we could have gone anywhere. Anywhere that would impress her. Anywhere you wanted, you wanted to come here. Of course. We're at the back end of beyond and she's still on my case, sniggering and making snidey remarks. Taking every chance she gets to remind me that she knows you better than I she do. She doesn't. She only thinks she does. But you let her. No, you let her. You're obsessed with her. Give it a rest. Well, gladly. You stop talking to her and I'll stop talking about her. Fine, I will. I won't even mention her name. Deal? Deal. Can we get going now? Next on ITV1, it's The Bill. Whilst over on ITV2, it's Extra Factor, the winner's story. Then Michelle Heaton investigates Britain's booze culture and sees firsthand the effects alcohol can have. I shouldn't do it, but I do. When everybody else in the country does, everybody goes out and gets drunk. The truth about binge drinking is at nine on ITV1.